Hi there, Dr. Gary here on the road. We sell dental practices nationwide. We're dental practice brokers. I was a dentist for 25 years and now doing the dental practice brokerage for 14. Today's topic is double disability in less than 24 hours concerning two dentists sellers. We'll get into that. It was so strange. I can't believe that happened. But anyway, so as you know, we've been doing this for 14 years. We have 10 employees. We're in 22 states now, and we are continuing to grow. We're always available to you 363 days a year. We take our Christmas and Easter. You can now reach us from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. East Coast time. So just give us a call. Be happy to chat with you. Now, the information you're about to hear is for entertainment purposes only. It's not legal advice. So, also, um, if you're thinking about working with one of the DSOs and selling to them, please call us first because we work with all of them. They will often pay our uh, commission and there'll be no commission to you as a seller. Generally, it always happens that way. But we're not employed by them. So we know who the best ones are. We know who's having financial troubles. We know who is in corp going to be selling out very soon. So we have a lot of information uh, to share with you. Give us a ring about that. Now, if you're going to work with uh, us and it's a large DSO sale, we'll pay, we'll reimburse your legal fees upon successful closing. So give us a ring and we can help you with that also. So anyway, what happened? You're not going to believe this one. Um, I'm out in one of the states, just in about five, six new offices recently. And um, I came across two dentists who wanted to sell. Both of them had a serious disability. I mean, I come across disabilities all the time. I try to share them with everybody. You as a dentist have minimal exposure. I'm getting it twice a month, every month for 14 years. So I just figured I'd report to you. Those that tell me you have no problem, your parents lived till they were 95, 100. You're going to do great. You're going to live forever. You won't get disabled. Please, I hear this all the time. Now I'm dealing with two of them in less than 24 hours and I have to try to manage it. I mean, it was a, it's a problem. So the first one is, uh, it was a house, you know, not a house, a converted uh, building and two floors. They had uh, the dental offices downstairs and upstairs they had some administrative offices, but mostly workers downstairs. And the doctor said, well, would you like to go upstairs to see my second floor where some of the administrative work is done? I said, oh, sure, let's go up. So I'm going up and he's not following me. He went up two steps, three steps and stopped. Uh, then I saw him go up a fourth step and I'm like at the 10th step looking back at him. He says, uh, why don't you run ahead, run ahead. Uh, I'll be, uh, just look for yourself, I'll be okay. This guy was so heavy, he couldn't make it up the stairs. Couldn't do it. This is, he should be selling immediately. He wasn't selling because of the disability, but he should be. I felt terrible for him. He could not walk up the stairs to show me the second floor in the building. I mean, he was so heavy. It's like, what, you know, what do you, and he wasn't selling because of that. And I don't even know if this guy will sell. He's thinking about it, not thinking about it. I was thinking, you got this disability. Are you kidding me? You should sell it tomorrow. So some people are in the middle of a disability. They don't even see it. This is what he should be doing. Absolutely be selling. Now, the other guy, I'm talking to him and having a conversation with him. A little older, you know, over, over a little over 70. And we're talking and he just goes off forgets what we're talking about. Loses the whole conversation. And I have to start talking again. Cognitive problems. He wasn't selling because of disability that I obviously noticed. 
he had other reasons to sell. But this fellow had cognitive problems. I thought I was going there to sell the office, and when I saw the cognitive problems, you can't carry out a conversation too long because he just goes off and forgets what you're talking about. I thought that's why he's selling. It wasn't why he was selling. It was a different reason. Um, I'm like, what are you talking about there? You don't know if you're ready to sell or not. He's telling, I don't know if I'm ready to sell. Said, well, I'm thinking to myself, you should be selling yesterday. And this is the world I live in. I try to urge people to think it just happens or you slowly develop uh, this, you know, slowly the, the disability develops. But, you know, you can't do that. I mean, you're going to have a hard time selling the practice. You Something may happen to you. You get a heart attack, accident. I mean, what, what are you doing? And these are two doctors that didn't call me in because they were disabled or they maybe didn't think they're disabled. They were selling for other reasons. And one of them, I don't even know if he's ready to sell. So this is the world I'm exposed to. I try to share it with you, but I'm in it. I'm at the front lines. I feel like I'm the cop on the beat. Or I'm the reporter at the front line of the war zone. I mean, this is what's happening today. And these two doctors, I guess, don't acknowledge that they have a serious problem. So I'm saying to you, if oh, you've reached the point where you are somewhat close to retirement, again, your, your account will never tell you to retire. But if you're somewhat close, preserve the capital, preserve your cal the, the, the money that your practice is worth, preserve your capital, sell it. And you may not be able to retire on that money, but what are you going to do if you get disabled? The value of your practice is going to plummet. So please be aware of that. This disability, it's twice a month for 14 years. This is the first time I've had two of them in a day within 24 hours. And they don't even recognize that they had a they had a problem. So you want to get out because for us to go in and when you're, you know, you can't practice anymore or you pass on, the value of the practice plummets. It just plummets. And then if you're a lower grossing practice under 300,000, it's hard to get a broker or it's hard to find buyers. Because not everybody wants the lower price practice. And then something happens to you. There's no goodwill to carry on. It's, it gets to be a big problem. So this is something you've got to realize and wake up to. And younger people, you should try to get, you know, plan your future out. Maybe you can retire before you're 60 or maybe before you're 50 you can retire. I did. But you get out. So it, it's possible, but you know, it is, you're wearing your body down right now with these uh, PPOs. I can see they're wearing people's bodies down and doing the Medicaid dentistry. So, you know, you try to do a little more fee for service or, or upsell some of the patients to procedures that they need, but you could get disabled and it's a big problem. Young people get all the disability you can maximize on them. All right. Thank you for listening. Hit the subscribe button. If you want more info, we have new uh, videos coming out. I think today's my third one I'd made in the same day. So we're out there making it happen every day. Bye now.